Herman, Bomb Bomb's signal moved again. Yeah, I heard it, Briny. At least we're moving closer. Any idea what's got her moving around so much? I've never seen a fish like him around here before. You're not supposed to. He's an invasive species called the Asian carp. Asia? Asia's half a world away. How'd he wind up over here? Asian carp were brought over by fish farmers in the southern United States to help clean their commercial ponds. And in the 1970s, some of them escaped. One single Asian carp can lay two million eggs at once, and they can grow to be almost 99 pounds. Because they eat so much, grow so big, and they're so hardy, they've been spreading up the riverways, destroying ecosystems and food chains as they go. This electric mesh across a waterway is one way humans are trying to control the spread. The holes are big enough for local fish to swim through, but too small for the Asian carp to fit through. Well, the one we saw was pretty big. How did he get through? I'm not sure. Maybe he got through when he was a kid and much smaller. Bottom line, he's on this side. You need to get him on the other side. Uh, Herman, are you sure this is such a good idea? What do you mean? What's wrong with it? Well, I mean, that Asian carp was awful big, and we're kind of small. Are you sure we should really be roaming around down here? Relax, Bernie. We're not here to fight him. We're not here to do anything other than find him and get back to Bon Bon. Once we find out where he is, she'll figure out what to do. All we have to do is just be quiet, and he'll never even know we were here, and we're going to be just fine. Well, that could have gone better. You think? Okay, so we clearly need a new idea. Like what? Anything small enough to fit in the tunnels isn't going to be strong enough to take on the carp, and anything strong enough to take on the carp won't fit through the tunnels. Herman, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, Bonbon. Bon. Briny, go back to the ship and tell Gage to get us ready for hard travel. We gotta go as fast as we can. Bonbon, bon, just keep an eye on him. Make sure you can tell where he is. I'm going to go get a friend, because I think I got the perfect way to get him out of there. Ahoy, Bonbon! Bonbon, bon bon, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. This is Ellery. He's an electric eel, and he's a real live wire. That Asian carp is trying to stay away from the electric fence. Let's see what happens when the electric fence comes to him. Okay, Ellery, go to it. Well, I think we did pretty good. We got rid of that Asian carp. It's back on the other side of the fence now. We did good for now. At the rate they've been spreading, who knows how long it is before they take over. And that means all the local wildlife will be destroyed. Why do humans do these things anyway? Because it seems like a good idea at the time. Kudzu in the American South, rabbits in Australia, even whoever it was that tried to release the lionfish back into the wild out in Florida. Ecosystems are very delicate, but people don't realize it. And they need to start realizing it before the damage becomes too great. <laughs> 